happy to talk to them. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Now also too, we have, you know, we are on our Facebook page. Yes. Um, your Key to Real Estate. And um, we did have, I, we did uh, put on there that you were going to be on the show. So we did have oh, a couple of people. Um, let's see, we had Beverly from Monrovia uh, on the Facebook page said, um, uh, is there a cost to be a member if you're a realtor? So uh, are there fees for, you know, what, what do the real estate, and, and yes, the, yes, there are, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Beverly, there, there, there are fees. However, I can share with, with Beverly, and, and, and thanks for, for writing in, Beverly. Uh, yeah, there, there are fees to join. However, the, what you get in benefits far surpasses what you actually pay. Yes. The annual fee is about $525. Mm -hmm. Now, that does include your first quarter of MLS fees, right. MLS being your multiple listing service, which is our, our uh, Go to website for all the mm -hmm. listings. Right. Uh, so that's that's the cost. But again, what's important to understand is that if our agents were to conduct business outside of the association, all the benefits that I mentioned, the the legal hotline, the actual free uh, access to legal forms, mm -hmm. that's all included. If you were to to pay yeah, uh, a separate true. website to get the actual forms that you needed, that in itself is over $500 to, to, to belong to that. So by joining at a local association, you're also becoming a realtor, mm -hmm. which is, is, is very important. Again, that sets you apart from, from just yeah. a, a standard licensee. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very important. So, um, and then also we have those legal forms, just, just to be really clear, those are all the contracts. You know, those are Correct. all the contracts that if um, I'm writing all those offers, if anyone has bought or sold their homes out there, all those contracts and all that paperwork that your realtor does, those, those are all those forms that we have access to. Absolutely so that's, free. That's it's included in, in, in your actual membership dues. Right. So, yeah. okay. And then we have Mark from Arcadia. Um, let's see. Mark said that he is a, uh, a licensee, but he has... Um, he ha so he just has his real estate. Well, we've actually already probably really answered that, but I guess he's uh, he just has his license. And what would he need to do um, to become a member of the association? Uh, did Mark say he has his real estate license? He has his license, but he, I guess he's not a member of anything. Oh, very good. Well, congratulations, Mark, for getting your license. Yeah, uh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but what Mark really should do is he needs to affiliate with his with a local office of, of his choice. Uh, by joining a local office, he will then become a member of our association. Very, very easy standard. We, we've actually streamlined the, the membership process. Right. Very simple. But by becoming a realtor, again, he's then exposed to all the benefits that he needs to become mm -hmm. very, very successful. Right. right. And, and, and by a local office, the, uh, Andrew, too, you also, that means uh, as in, in a real estate company. Uh, a local real estate right. office, correct. Right. A local real estate office where we kind of call where we hang our license. Sure. And, and what Mark can do, he, he's, he's more than welcome to give us a call at the association, mm -hmm. and we're able to give him a roster of all, all the offices in our local area that are actual members of our association. We're happy to help him out in, in that endeavor. Right, so actually, if someone is just a newly licensee, mm -hmm. they can actually go to an association first to find out what real estate companies are in the area. Yes. And, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, we're, we're happy to do that. Again, we're not just an organization for realtors. Of course, mm -hmm. that's our primary mm -hmm. focus, but we also focus on, on private property rights and private property homeowners, and also the community at large. Those who have their license don't know what to do with it. What can we do? Well, come to our association, give us a call, go to yeah. our website, yeah. and we'll help them find an office. We'll give them a list of all the offices that we have, and they can choose the office that's best for them. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And also, that would also be like, let's say someone's looking for a realtor, mm -hmm. you know, or they have some specific needs with a realtor. Certainly. We actually get phone calls uh, semi-often, okay. people calling the association looking for specific offices. Maybe they have a specific type of business they want to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to sell a commercial building. Maybe they mm -hmm. want to sell an industrial building or residential. Mm -hmm. we, we also do all kinds of, of other businesses besides mm -hmm. residential. And that's something that perhaps we didn't discuss is that even though we are a realtor organization, people think of homes. Right. Well, we also do commercial. We also do industrial. We have uh, specific companies who specialize in industrial and commercial buildings. Now, just just to be real clear out mm -hmm. there, what's the difference between industrial and commercial? Uh, commercial would be more your your uh, uh, retail. Okay. That's considered considered commercial. Industrial industrial would be a, a, a warehouse, warehouses. that type of thing. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. And in, and in our city, we have a little bit of everything. We do. That's one of the great things about the community of Monrovia. Obviously, huge redevelopment that's going on here in the city of Monrovia. And we love our redevelopment department. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We, 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 we love it. Continue to do what you're we, doing. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, yeah. and that's a great thing about, about the city of Monrovia is that it's a traditional community that we have of homes, but we have a lot of in industry here as well, yes. which yes. is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's also really good, um, and the gold line comes up here too. We cannot wait for that. We cannot that, wait that's for that. going to be fantastic. That yeah. is. That in, is in, in my great. opinion, they, they can't build that soon enough. I know. Yeah. I've I've been waiting forever because I'm more down in that area. So yeah. I'm like, come on, <laughs> bring me up here. Exactly, I, I, and I really think it's, it's going to help businesses. Uh, yes. here, here in this area, oh, yes. especially the further east it extends, it'll be a lot better for us. So yeah. it'll, it'll be fantastic. Yeah, it'll be wonderful. Now, there are the there's the Arcadia Association of Realtors. Mm -hmm. There's the Pasadena Association of Realtors. Yes. There's Citrus. Yes. Now, Arcadia is one of the older associations. We were. We isn't are. It? We were established in 1924. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I believe, we're the fifth oldest real estate association in, in the state of California. Wow. Yeah, and and we've we've grown steadily throughout the years. Uh, only about uh, nine years ago, we were around 800 members. Mm -hmm. Now we're right around 2,000. And people are really coming to our association because we're doing the right things. Oh, yeah. So we, 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 we work hard. Again, our, our, our base is volunteer driven, mm -hmm. and we cannot operate without a dedicated volunteer base. And we really thank, the, uh, thank them and appreciate them. I know. I when I this is the first association I've ever been mm -hmm. a member of, and I was so surprised at how many realtors give up so much of their time, you know, to be a part of the different um, the different the different um, groups, mm -hmm. you know, that are all a part of all of that. Right. And you know, so that's that's. Um, that's just amazing to me. It is, and know. thank you for being a volunteer member on one of our communities. Yeah, no, I I, I love that, and I mean it's a it's a newer committee, so I'm mm -hmm. really excited to see how that grows. And yeah, you know, I, I think one of the shows would be kind of fun to get some of the committees back on. I think so. I think know? so. So, yeah, that'll be wonderful. And one a couple of other things before we're almost to the end of the show. Wow, it always goes by so fast. It did. Um, is that um, just for our viewers? If you have any questions for Andrew Cooper with the Arcadia Association of Realtors. Remember, you can still go to our Facebook page. And um, at the, if any of you are on Facebook, just go up to the search engine. You can put in your key to real estate and just go to the page and hit the like button. And um, all of Andrew's information will be there. The mm -hmm. Arcadia Association will be there. And you can go right onto their link and um, go right onto the website and ask any questions. Um, and all the the great helpful information that Andrew had, so that was that was wonderful. And also, if any of you, um, I was just really happy. Um, K Jim is such a wonderful studio here. They're so helpful, um, getting our show on the air and getting all this great real estate information out to you. That we had a, a really nice little um, article in the San Gabriel Valley newspaper this weekend. So I just wanted to. Um, uh, shout out to thank you for the San Gabriel newspaper for having an article and thank you to for K Jim for making our show possible and um, it was a nice little article that we had out there so and also I just wanted to let everybody know too um, I do a really fun little uh, uh, um, newsletter every month so it, it's uh, not just about real estate it's also about all of the fun things going on in the San Gabriel Valley. So I, I do send out this newsletter every month. So if you're on my website, um, or if you go to the, the Facebook page, um, you can let me know um, either your website number, I mean your website address, or on Facebook if you want it mailed to you. But it tells everything that's going on every month um, in the San Gabriel Valley, and I send that out to all my clients or friends or you know whoever's on my um, email e email uh, email list so that's a really fun thing to get every month so I just wanted to offer that out to everybody so um, you know it's a fun thing so go on go on to the Facebook page or go on to the website or get our information and um, Andrew I just wanted to thank you so much for coming on our show thank you Sharon. and um, I hope you'll come back happy to do so thank you so much great and to all our wonderful viewers out there um, until next time Keep smiling, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.